Tesla stock is on a tear right now, almost 50% up in the last month. Absolutely insane. And by the looks of it, 300 per share seems to be on the horizon. It may happen by end of this month, next month, or by end of August. Who knows? But it looks like, it looks like we're pretty much there. But the question is, when are we going to hit 400? Well, in today's video, I'm going to give you guys five and plus catalysts that could bring Tesla stock to 400 per share or pretty much, pretty much close to all time highs or to all time highs. So if you guys are ready, make sure you guys smash that like button, smash that subscribe button and let's get into it. By the way, though, I did make a new shirt. It's called I Bought the Dip, as you guys can see here on the screen. If you guys want to support the channel or literally say I bought the dip because I bought the dip. I'm sure you guys bought the dip. We're all flipping happy right now. Go on order, man. And you get a 10% off if you use the code Tesla Stonk. So yeah, man. And yes, I ordered one too. Pretty excited. Looking forward to it. All right, let's get into the video. Let's go. The first catalyst here is a fundamental one and it's the Q2 deliveries, but more importantly, the Q2 earnings. What's important here is Tesla needs to have a higher gross margin, gross profit margin compared to Q1. If that happens, not only have we bottomed, but this will convince and bring more investors back to the stock because they've pretty much bottomed in the gross margin, which is a very, very bullish sign. On top of that, if they do over 450,000 vehicles, that is an extremely bullish sign. In my calculation, in my prediction, which you guys can find here, I said over 453,000 and some change. And I really do believe that's what they're going to do. But let's see what happens in literally two weeks time. It's going to be, it's going to be very interesting. But if they do over 450,000 vehicles, then that's going to bring the stock higher. The second one is if they beat earnings, then you already know we are pretty much past the 300 per share. Obviously, I don't know, but that's, I mean, come on, man. At this point, what else do you want? You know, prices are going higher. Tesla's increasing prices. Earnings have flipping bottom for, since Q1, the gross margins. Delivery is all time high. Even if they don't hit 450,000, they're still gonna be all time high. So really there's no excuse for the stock not to hit 300. But anyways, that's the catalyst number one. Catalyst number two is, well, what has happened in the past couple of days, and that's another gigafactory in progress happening in India. My money was betting in Indonesia, but India is also excellent. As you guys already know, Elon met with the Prime Minister of India. He said it very clearly that he really wants to have a factory there, which does make sense. We have a young population, a smart population, a large population, cheap labor, right? You already know what's going to be, you know, produced there. Whatever's going to happen in Mexico is going to happen in India. Same factory. And the most important part that I find this very, very bullish and a great location is geopolitic reasons. We already know that a lot of companies are de-risking from China and obviously for good reason too. So having a big plant in India is a great strategic move for Tesla. Now the question comes, when will Elon or Tesla announce their sixth gigafactory, which would be in India or well, most likely will be in India? It could be end of the year, but most likely mid next year around this time. As you guys already know, Elon Musk before announcing Mexico, he had to visit there and do some stuff. And Elon said that he's visiting India next year. So it looks like mid next year, but who knows, we may get it end of this year, but my money is on a year from now, literally mid of 2024, which is going to be a 2024 is going to be a fantastic year for Tesla. Compact car, you get the Cybertruck coming on the road, Gigafactory India, then I'm pretty sure there's going to be rumors of other places because it looks like they're trying to make a Gigafactory every single year, which is a fantastic move for Tesla. And we also got the full styles. Anyways, let's move on. That, that, was, that was number two. Number three is obviously the Cybertruck Q3, Q4. Once that actually comes to life, that actually, you know, you get to see them on the road, customers, you know, trying them out and, you know, taking delivery, that's going to be a catalyst moment because all the analysts and investors and all the bears and short-sighted people on Tesla will go like, wait a minute, this is not some imaginary car. This thing actually exists and is actually being delivered to people. Now, yes, we do have high cost on this in the beginning is probably going to, you know, burn a lot of money, just like what happened to Model Y and Model 3 when they were ramping up. Nonetheless, once we go into next year and they're doing 100,000, well, maybe not next year, but the year after that, we're going to do an up, upwards of 100,000 in production for Cybertruck. Then we're going to see then. Oh, man, it's going to be such an awesome time. But nonetheless, Cybertruck is definitely a catalyst for Tesla. As soon as even one of them is on the road, it's been delivered. It's going to be a sheesh moment right there. Sheesh. Catalyst number four. As you guys already know, we have now Rivian joining 
Ford and GM in Tesla supercharging network. I mean, and that's also a whole list of people who are trying to get it now. We got we have Blinken or Blink, if I'm mistaken that name wrong, and ChargePoint trying to do the same thing. We have Stellantis thinking about it, we have Hyundai. They're gonna be announcing that soon as well. And that's gonna give Tesla more of a monopoly. And it's just gonna be, I mean, that's a massive catalyst itself. I and mean, one of the reasons why the stock market for the past week or two has been roaring is because of these news. So, and the reason why it's down today, which would be the Wednesday, is because Jerome Powell said we may have to rate hikes more than two. I don't know, it's what he's saying, who cares? But nonetheless, this is a catalyst. Expect more companies to join the network. I mean, they kind of have to, they have no other choice. Catalyst number five, and that's Tesla Energy, their revenue and profits. Guys, Tesla Energy is under the radar. When people look at Tesla's revenue and profits, they don't even talk about energy, which is just weird. Right, as an investor, as you guys watch my videos, I add energy into my valuation and prediction because it's becoming a big boy. They're growing. Energy is growing. I mean, in their earnings report, energy has grown over a hundred percent. Like, guys, this is not something you guys should shouldn't you guys shouldn't ignore this. This is big, huge. Tesla has mega packs, two million a piece, and delivery is literally three years out. If you want to order one right now, it's gonna take three years. And yes, they already finished up making a mega pack factory in the U.S. Now they're make, trying to make one in China. Nonetheless, demand is high, and this is going to reflect in the earnings, and that's going to surprise everybody. And that itself is a catalyst. That can probably that can probably bring the stock up like five to ten, even as high as fifteen percent, if it beats expectations, which most likely it's going to. Anyways, another great thing about Tesla Energy that's very important that you guys need to know is that it gives it a floor for Tesla stock price and valuation. Let me tell you what I mean. Tesla Energy is going to be one day one third of the business of Tesla's business. That's going to happen. I mean, I'm predicting that, but that's what's going to happen. Once that happens, it doesn't matter if Tesla doesn't hit expectations in terms of vehicle deliveries. Heck, it can even miss deliveries for a quarter or two or three or four. As long as Tesla energy is growing, that's what's going to help the stock price stay what it is. If Tesla energy doubles and triples and they're making billions of dollars, that's going to support the earnings per share, meaning that's going to support the PE in a way, and that's gonna give the stock price more of a floor. If the floor was at 100 bucks per share, which was the bottom for Tesla stock earlier this year, that means now if energy doubles and triples and we have a strong EPS because of just energy alone, maybe the floor will now be 150. Now that doesn't mean we won't go below that, most likely we will if we go into a panic, but that's, that's as a job as an investor, that's when I will recognize that this stock is extremely cheap, just like what happened in early of this year or end of 2022, where the stock hit 100 bucks per share. It's really insane. So that's the power of Tesla Energy. And again, I'm saying one third of the business is going to be Tesla Energy in the next five, six years. The other one third will be vehicles and the other one third will be AI stuff. And we'll get to that in just a second. So that's number five, Tesla Energy, massive catalyst. And it's one that's going to keep appearing quarter after quarter and year after year. Don't sleep on this. Catalyst number six, the official announcement of the new Twitter takeover. Elon Musk, in the beginning of May, he announced that there's going to be a new CEO and she's going to take place in six weeks time. Well, guess what? Five weeks have passed. Next week, once we have this official news, this official announcement that she's going to be taking over, investors and analysts and institution investors, everyone across the board are going to go like, okay, now Tesla, now Elon has more focus on Tesla. He is now 100% in the game, even though he's always been 100% in the game. Anyways, this announcement will make it official which is very bullish for the stock and obviously a catalyst as well. Catalyst number seven, and that's the full self-driving entering level four. Now, obviously Tesla doesn't tell us what level Tesla FSD is in, but based on people trying it on a daily basis, they are claiming that it's level three. And with all the updates and improvements, it looks like by end of this year, Tesla's FSD may be reaching level four, which is extremely bullish and a catalyst because we're only one level away from fully autonomy. And that's going to be huge for Tesla. I'll explain what I mean in a minute, but I think you guys already know what's up. So these are the seven catalysts. There is an eighth catalyst, but I'm gonna leave it at the end of this video. I wanna go ahead and take a look at Gary's Black, Gary Black's list of catalysts because 
Gary Black is one who I respect. He's not like any other analyst that that will like follow the stock where it goes. Oh, the stock is going down. We gotta you know change our stock prices to go down. I respect Gary Black and I do like what he says. So his list of catalysts goes as follows, and it's very similar to mine. The only thing that him and I don't have as a catalyst here is he has a twenty-five to thirty thousand compact car, which yes, it is a catalyst. But for next year, we're only looking for 2023. He also got the 7,500 EV instant rebate, which is again, end of year of 2024. And I already put that in my valuation and prediction. So I don't really put that as a catalyst, but yes, this could be in a way a catalyst. He also has here is the Model 3 refresh Highland. I don't think this is much of a catalyst. Yes, it's going to be the Model 3, but the Model 3, the price you can get it for like 25,000, 28,000. I mean, how cheaper can you even get so I don't think this is not this isn't much of a catalyst, but more of a I guess you could say boost, a more of a boost morale to the investors, I guess. Gary Black is saying Tesla will do a buyback in Q4 of $10 billion. Now that will be awesome. That will be great. But as a Tesla investor, it's not the time to do it. If they do it, it is a bullish sign, but I will be a little concerned because they need to fund a lot of projects to, you know, because they got a Gigafactory max to do it. Then they're thinking about India. Then they're thinking about other projects to do. So really, I'm not comfortable for them doing buyback at the moment. In fact, I made a video about this on when they will do a buyback realistically. You guys can check out the video over here. But uh, yes, this would be a catalyst, but Eh, I would wait a couple more years. I mean, 10 billion is not gonna do much of a difference in the stock anyways. So you might as well put that towards another plant, right? He also has Twitter positive cash flow as a catalyst for Tesla. I mean, yes, they're separate companies, but because Elon is pretty much, I mean, the reason why he sold a whole bunch, a chunk of Tesla stock was to fund Twitter. And if Twitter can't cash flow, that means Elon will probably have to sell more Tesla. So yes, this is more of a catalyst and Tesla investors will benefit from it, but it's not a major catalyst. And other than that, everything else that I mentioned, he mentions it as well. So let's go. Now the eighth catalyst, which I think it's going to be huge. It's not going to happen this year though. It's not going to happen the year after that or the year after that, or probably even the year after that, but it's going to happen. This catalyst is going to be a bigger catalyst and a bigger stock jump, in my opinion, my financial advice, than Tesla solving full self-driving. I'm talking about Tesla licensing out full self-driving to other automakers. Do you have any idea how big of a business this is? This is going to be such a huge business that it's going to be a, a much, it's, it's, it's mind boggling. I may have to make a separate video doing a valuation of FSD licensing because the numbers are just huge. We do FSD global, but that's different. That's just Tesla vehicles. Licensing FSD to other automakers? Yeah, we're definitely, I'm, I'm definitely gonna do this video how much money Tesla's gonna make, but it's a huge business. Imagine if by 2030, Tesla's doing, let's say 20 million vehicles, and that's 20% of the entire auto, auto market, and they solved FSD, and everybody wants to get licensed that, well, not everybody, it doesn't have to be everybody, it just needs a good, like Ford and GM, like how they, you know, want it in on Tesla supercharger network, same thing's gonna happen with FSD, with licensing. But if you just get like half or just 30%, of the other automakers to license out Tesla's FSD, you're being exposed to an addition 20 to 40 million vehicles. Do you know how big that, this is? This could be a bigger business than just, it's gonna be insane. I'm gonna make a video on this. I gotta do my research and see how the numbers will work, but this is going to be huge. This is the mother of all catalysts when it comes to Tesla. The level above that is a Tesla Bob, which again, I can't comprehend it right now, but this, the licensing, I can clearly see as day, just like how everyone is now joining Tesla Supercharger Network. It's gonna be a sheesh moment. And it's the reason why I'm all in on Tesla stock, man, come on. So this eighth catalyst is a huge one. Most likely it's gonna happen end of this decade putting it in right now. Any time between 2027 to even 2030, if Tesla's full self driving is going as fast as, as, as is right now and improving as fast as it is, and man, we, we just need to wait another five, six years and that's it. It's gonna be insane. It's gonna be infinitely the same, but this is the mother of all catalysts. Tesla's licensing out FSD to other automakers big business. This is a multiple of multiple trillion opportunity and Tesla is best positioned for that. This is what I think. This is what I believe. This is my opinion. Comment down below what your catalysts are for Tesla. I am curious to know. Now, the real question is, when will Tesla become the world's most valued company? Well, you're in luck because I made a video 
right here comparing it to amazon nvidia apple aramco alphabet microsoft all the big boys from now to 2030 see when tesla stock will be the most world's most valued company check it out you'll meet this important and guys get your merch i bought the dip merch man come on subscribe for more and i shall see you guys in the next video see ya